Hey guys, so here is our new luxury yacht. Just for the week though, <laughs> not actually ours, but we are learning, we're getting our skipper's license with Sunshine Sailing here on the Gold Coast. I think they actually do courses all up Australia. So we thought we'd bring you along. It's um, a week that we're gonna be living on the boat. Should we give you a tour first? Yeah, should we do a tour? So yeah, we're gonna spend four nights and five days. You have to get up like this. It's a Lagoon 380 for the boaties out there. Yeah, Lagoon 380. And what was the boat oh, called? The boat was called <laughs> Taking Liberties. Okay. Let's hop on board and take us through the cockpit. This is the cockpit. Is this the cockpit? Yeah. <laughs> you should know that. <laughs> this is the helm. This is Peter, our instructor. Do you want to say hey. hi? Hey, how you going? <laughs> This oh. will be where I'll be sitting. Are you captain somewhere, yeah? Yep. This is the best spot as you're going along, catch some dolphins. It's also a good safety feature. Yeah. So there's four cabins on the boat. So if I show you inside. Matt's got his Australian hat on today. All right, we're inside. The saloon. The saloon has the galley. There it is. Fridge over there. This is the seating area. Where's the fridge down there? The fridge is here. Is it stopped there? There's some things in there. So as a catamaran, you have a centre area, then two holes either side, and each hole has two cabins, which means beds. So come on in. <laughs> so it's cosy, it's compact, but at least you've still got a yeah, what, it's single and a half or, or small double bed? Move out of the way, this is the walk-in wardrobe. Yep, you just walk in like this. <laughs> so we've got the heads in the centre, which means the toilet. Yeah. And then you'll show what the forward cabin yeah, looks like. Yeah, turn the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's the forward cabin. Wanting to get our skipper's licence. So that's what we're going to be doing this week. So we'll take you along. We're going to vlog each of the days. We're sailing around 17 nautical miles to somewhere called Moreton Bay. Preparing to leave the dock shortly. And Summer is learning some rope skills. So can you talk us through what you're learning? Um, getting onto the dock. So what you're going to see is Summer coil the rope. And then she's going to throw over to there using chicken wing. A nice wide throw. Wow! <laughs> that was heavy! How was that? That was a lot heavier than I thought it would be. No way! Wow, that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, oh, you could pull that over. It's, it's just that over yeah. And all the X. And all the way around. And O again. That's it. Perfect. That's it. Okay, now wrap it up. Two more wraps. Remember your hands position. Oh, am I going the right way? You've got the easy way and the hard way. More leverage. Just push that handle, yeah, that's it. Nice work back in the park. Yeah. Still hold all. Safety wrap. All right, so before we head out and leave the marina, we're just going to go grab some coffees and stuff. But I thought I'd show you pretty much everyone here drives golf carts. Where are you parking? And then this is where you buy your buggy or you get it serviced or whatever. <laughs> cool, right? So, are you going for a swim? Someone's currently got a splinter. So we just um, used a spring line to bring the stern out because the wind was blowing us onto the pontoon. And then we reversed out using the uh, engines only. Incredible houses on the water. Check that one out. Loads of cool houses on the waterfront. And here's a little uh, look what it looks like when we're going along. So the plan today is we're gonna head just a few miles to start off with and we're gonna find an anchorage to spend the night. So keep you updated where we go. Some more beautiful houses around. So Summer is at the helm. Summer's the captain now. Yeah. Getting some great 
teaching here with Peter. Doing a great job. That's right, yep. Looks good, Summer. Ooh. Eyes ahead, please. <laughs> Check out this house here. Beautiful design. Yeah, I love the architecture of that. Beautiful sports cruiser here. This is a princess yacht. And the V-Line, which is the sports cruiser with no flybridge. Summer and I are big fans of this shape and style yacht, and that is beautiful. Check out this mansion here. Pretty palatial looking. Check out this place here, big house on the water, and then private pontoon, fit for a big boat. Your head doesn't fit under the... <laughs> no, I have to stand out here. How's it feel? Great, I mean, look at our scenery, look at our surroundings. Incredible. Going past all the massive houses. So, quick update, we've sailed a mile or so now. We haven't actually sailed yet, as you can see. We're motoring still because we're beating directly into wind in a narrow channel, so there's no point where the sails up. We're just cruising along with this view. It's around 3 pm now on the first day. We've just been. We haven't been sailing, we've actually just been like. I don't want to say driving because it's not driving, but what's the word called where. We've just got the engine on and we're going. We're motoring. Um, it's been quite a few hours. We've just like changed over um, to like practicing, going through all the little markers. It's been a nice day. I'm trying to get a suntan as well. Might as well while we're out here. I don't know what time we're going to get to. I don't think we've traveled that far, although it feels like we've been going for a while. I'm not too sure how actually far we travel, but that's just because of bow it's like um ice rope. You may not be able to make it out, but there that is a capsized sailing boat. Just there. We have another boat that's been run aground. So there was an over delivery on the food. We have a ridiculous amount of food. Now this fridge isn't a bad size and it actually goes quite far back, it's quite deep and it's absolutely Ram full, and then there's also this pantry. Oh. <laughs> there's this pantry area that's also absolutely rammed. So if we end up adrift and we do start sailing um, around the world, we should be good for supplies. currently outrunning this storm here. Can you see that? Big squall. Oh, did you see that lightning? Potential collision. Okay, he has finally turned, but he nearly went into us. Hi! The storm is coming! As you can see, we've got a lot of wind from the, it's coming from the south. It's got really, really windy. See the clouds. Wait, let me turn the camera around. The air is so windy! Matt's just doing the anchor. Wait, is it this switch? There's yeah, a... try the switch. Now! Yep. Oh, guys, I'm fixed in. <laughs> not going to be able to wash my hair for five days, so I'm going to stay out the rain, because I do not want anything wet. Hair. There's Matt and his instructor. Yeah, it's much more pleasant in here. So. <laughs> How was that, Matt? Yeah, pretty wet. There we go. Hashtag need to... boat life. Just swipe it off the side. Oh, that sunset. Look at those colours. Amazing first day. We'll pick the camera back up tomorrow when we wake up, and hopefully. There's enough wind to uh, put the sails up. Just blinded me with a torch. Okay, we're just getting our sleeping bags out. <laughs> this is our cabin. We've got my sleeping bag this here. I managed to get it in my bag. This is our, our gorgeous um, new bedroom. 
bit of a shine in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> we've got panoramic windows throughout. Oh, lovely. Um, we've got skylight in the ceiling. Skylight, I've never heard it called that. That's a great description. We've even got automatic closing blinds. All you have to do is ask Summer. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Claustrophobic in here, are you? <laughs> Oh, that's spacious. Look at that. Look at that fan over there. That's going to keep us cool. This is the walk in wardrobe. Do you want to show everyone? Yeah, air my designer clothes in there. <laughs> How's that compared to the Sin Reef walk in wardrobe on the um, Sin Reef 80? That is more my vibe. Not going to lie. <laughs> Should we put that on screen now for what yeah. that was like? This is me in the Sun Reef 80. <laughs> but this bedroom's also cool. So. Yeah, a red light. Ready? Even better. Oh, sorry, is that really bright? Are you? No, it's nice. Red light, that's what we should have on in the evening, not this big white. It's a disco. Torch. It's a disco. Look. Yeah. Wow. Toilet. Wait, you just even did it. Oh. I'm going to the bathroom. Come, come. Oh, I've asked Matt to um, open the hatch for me. What are you doing in there? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to wash my face. And how's it going? I haven't started yet. <laughs> Close the door. I've opened the hatch for you, okay? Close Just the door. show me the show me the tap. <laughs> this is the tap, it's a shower head. <laughs> Morning, day two. Currently planning our passage then from where, where our anchorage is on Russell Island, just to the side of Russell Island. And if you come close and look at the chart, going from around here to this open water area here within Morton Bay. And that's where we're going to do some more sailing, hopefully, with the wind. His first passage, he's a skipper, and we've got a briefing. All right, crew. So we're going to do a six or around six nautical mile passage and we're going to be using no electronics so this is all paper charts and preparation so I have prepared as you can see here the passage plan so I'm just brought the anchor in here I am at the helm ready to go that way we've just started the passage now we're going through got to go through these markers So this is the boat hook that we're using to grab the mooring line on the mooring buoy which is over there. Right, it's around two boat lengths. That's looking really good. Yeah. Secure. So it's still day two, about the middle of the day, and we've just been doing this exercise, and now we're gonna go head back out. The wind has picked up a little bit. I'm gonna go sailing. So I hope you're enjoying it. I just connected, well, I drove close to them and Matt connected it to the boat. We did see a dolphin as well. We've seen a dolphin, we've seen about five tortoise and... Turtles. Oh, turtles. Tortoises. The dolphin's there actually, I can see really? it. Really? Oh, is it too far for the camera? I just saw them over there. All right, so we're sailing along now and we're about to do our man overboard uh, drill. So this is Bob. Bob is going to go into the ocean. See you, Bob. Bye, Bob. Currently doing a figure of eight. Can we get back to Bob? Neutral. Look up, Bob.
Right, we've landed and we're exploring Maclay Island, which seems quite remote and almost like we could have landed in Fiji or something. Look at the houses and we're just walking across a road. Apparently there's not many, any shops really here either. We've got some of those houses like that one with, that are on stilts and I think they're called Queenslanders. And they're quite sought after apparently. Matt's gone full Australian with the no shoes. This is proper exploring. Yeah. Just this hope our it. tender's still there when we get back. Yeah, yeah good idea. There you go. <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs> Here's a look at some more of the properties. Someone's, well, I think everyone builds their own house around here. But look. Now there are around 4,000 people that live on this island and it takes around an hour, I think, to walk from one side to the other. Where's this bed and breakfast? That's the local gang, I think. <laughs> Airbnb, not Airbnb, what's it called? Bed and breakfast in the olden days. And someone wants to use the toilet. <laughs> so I don't want to film too much. You're gonna have to just knock the door. I don't know. Office. See the sign for office. Just knock, just knock, just go with confidence and knock. How was it? Yeah, it was good. She was really nice. All right, we're back in the tender. It stayed here, the anchor worked. And we're gonna go head back to the boat now, but just taking in this incredible location again. Look at these, look at these properties. It's so interesting to see. Right, we've got a night sail tonight with our call, so I'll catch you guys there. So we've arrived back to the boat. Just connecting the tender back onto the main one. Nice work. Nice work. Mm -hmm. Let's get it up. As you can see, it is now pitch black. So we're doing some night sailing. We're sailing up into uh, the marina that we're going to stop at tonight. And yeah, we're just cruising along. It's nice. Very, you can't um, see peaceful. anything out here. Can't see anything. <laughs> morning. It is the next day. Um, didn't have the best sleep, so we are feeling a little bit tired. Currently in the town of Raby. Ray Bay. Ray Bay. Ray Bay. Ray Bay. Ray Bay. I think that's how you say it. Ray Bay. Small near town in Brisbane. Yeah, near Brisbane. And we're just going to get up in the morning. It's around 7 a.m. We're just going to go grab, grab a coffee and um, get some breakfast before we then head back out on the boat for some more sailing today. So yesterday we did a lot of night sailing. 8 a.m. till like yeah, that was it. Yeah. And uh, we had to plan the full passage ourselves and using no electronic charts as part of the training. And then we did actually have to come in at night and do nighttime pilotage into the Ray Bay Marina. Uh, but we thought we'd pick up the camera this morning and we can show you a little bit about, uh, a little bit around, sorry, I'm, I'm tired, Ray Bay Town. So Peter, our captain, has recommended this Banjo's Bakery. So we're gonna go check that out. Once you've been on a boat for a few days as well, any sighting of good food is amazing. Wow. Come <laughs> up, yeah. Yes. A smoked salmon chicken sandwich. Toasty. Smoked salmon toasty. Also heated up. Also heated up. Thank you. Ham and cheese croissant. Looks good. I'm really excited to try the bacon and egg pie. Is that yeah. an Australian thing? Yeah, it hasn't come out yet, has no, it? That's on the way. That's going to be good. Oh, it's not cutting through. Mm -hmm. So, after getting some breakfast and walking around Raby for a bit, we're about to hop back on the boat. I thought I'd show you where we are. This is the arena that we uh, stopped in last night. All right, let's go get back on the boat. See Pete. So I'm going to be the skipper today, and then we're going to just see the like passage we're going to take now. So we've got the map over here. The Peter's chart. going to show me the chart, not the map. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Peter. Peter's been giving us great training so far. We're enjoying it and learning a lot, and yep. I'm excited for someone to take the helm today and take take us there. Draw that then. So you're going to draw your passage? Yeah. Okay, let's get that going. We're going down here. Good. I won't distract you. Looks 
looks good, yes. Okay. Nice. Good decent positioning. Captain Bird's eye. Anyone want some fish fingers? Hmm. Do you want to go? Yeah. So, Summer's at the helm at the moment, she's taking us out and I thought I'd show you a little bit more about where we are now that you can see more in the day. Doing some close quarters manoeuvring in this area that you can see, so lots of nice houses. <clears throat> so Peter's guiding Summer through close quarters manoeuvre, so we've blocked off the steering wheel and we're just using the throttles, you've got a port engine and a starboard engine and you can use them to manoeuvre. Leopard 42 catamaran there. Matt's up next to do his 360 degree turn. Here's once the wind is on the stern. Alright, so someone's here, someone's skipper today, as I took us here yesterday. So we're going to navigate out the channel. But this is the course we have planned here. Someone's doing a great job. Here's the scenery. Look at one of them. Looks awesome. See these triangles on a chart? That means these green starboard lateral markers. It's waving! <laughs> Is going up and down? Oh, I've got the water coming up there. Whoa. You can never quite make out on camera as, as much as you can in person. It just looks flat. I need a wee as well, so I'm going to have to get to the toilet. Okay. okay. So what if the wee comes up and hits me? Oh, you have to okay. try and avoid that, I guess. Oh, God. <laughs> right, I'm going oh, in. Are you okay? <laughs> See ya, stay safe. Right. Oh. Not biscuit right now, life jacket. Life jacket's done, yeah. <clears throat> Matt, sorry, you've got to pump that. No, I've already had, no, I already have, I've toilet. pumped it. That's it's just the seawater. No, just pump it and I'll go when there's no water in. Will you no. pump it? No, you were in there last. You, no, and I pumped it clear. No, but look. So we're now sailing only, we've got the front sailor, which is called the jib, but basically the small one at the front, because it's so windy, the small one sailor. It's really So it's very windy, it's been blowing like 30 knots of wind. You probably can't hear much of what I'm saying. So we've changed fan and we've come into somewhere called Manly Harbour, which looks like this. So we're gonna stop here and yeah, I'll update you then, but it's super windy. We made it to uh, Manly Marina. We've just got off the boat now. I'm gonna head to a cafe and just have a look and explore. Pretty poor weather to be fair and it was blowing like 30 knots of wind out there. So it's not the best weather, but I'm just going to explore this new area and check it out. So we're just going to check, check out Groundhog Social, see if we can grab a drink in here. Looks nice. Yeah, good vibe. Oh, they've got a good coffee machine. So that's all we need. Cheers. I've got a hot chocolate. And we've got some banana bread. Yummy. Nice and warm. So now we're in the car heading to Brisbane for dinner. Is that where we're going? Yeah. It's so like 20 minutes away from yeah. Manly Harbour. Manly Harbour, so we'll catch you guys over there. Okay, we have arrived in Brisbane to a wet and rainy sky. So we're going to check it out. Thanks to the Uber. Thank you. We are under the bridge. What's that bridge called again? I'm not sure. We're by Crystal Brook. <laughs> 
Vincent area. Last time we came to Brisbane, it was raining as well. Yeah, we haven't Bernie seen Vincent. Brisbane in the sunshine yet. Oh, that's a cute ice cream store. Oh, that is cool. Look how good that looks. Look at those toppings. Doesn't it make such a big difference when we've been out on the boat at anchor in a small bay and now we're back yeah. in the city? No, it's so different. But so much going on, so many people around. We're gonna try out this place. Fellas. Looks quite groovy inside. Oh wow. What's that? For a seat, it's quite big in here. Yes. Loads of tables. How oh, cool this is! Disco ball. Okay, so we found a ping pong table and um, we're just having a few games. Yeah, no Food has arrived. So hungry, being out at sea and playing ping pong made us very hungry. See. So dinner was really nice. Really recommend this place. Um, there's like a trivia night going on, which is cool. Trivia. Yeah. And then look how beautiful the view is in Brisbane. Incredible. So we'll put the name of the place that we're at on screen. It's something wharf or something. We'll put it on screen. And if you're watching from here, you'll recognise it. But now, where are we going now? We're going to go um, back to our hotel. We're going where? <laughs> back to our hotel room. Uh, what about ice, ice cream or something? Ice cream? Yeah, yeah. it's a little Ben and Jerry's or something. It's a bit cold, but yeah. Alright, let's yeah. go see what we can find. We're now getting an ice cream. We've got Matt's. Like Matt's choice. Matt's choice, yeah. So I'm taking us to a good time gel mm. gelateria. That's the flavour. What flavour did you try? Chocolate. Did you get two scoops? Mm. Morning guys, it's the next day from last night um, dinner. Um, we've just got some food for the crew and the instructor. Picked up our coffees, got our breakfast, and it's got a little hot chocolate. Yeah, a little hot chocolate. Um, so we're at Manly Marina now, Manly, yeah. and we just stopped up at this cafe. <laughs> it's just called Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well that's what it looks like inside. Everyone was really nice. So I yeah, recommend this spot. And now we're going to go ahead to the boat. We're going to go around 15 nautical miles to uh, Newport. Newport today on the boat. And it's very windy and very rainy, as you can see. It feels so like we're in England. It does, <laughs> yeah. It's a good reminder. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. These are the conditions. <laughs> we're like a penguin in the Arctic. <laughs> and we're about to get on a sailing boat Shit. on probably rough seas. Right, so we've planned our passage and we're now going to set off. We have an, around a three and a half, maybe four hour trip ahead of us. Um, I think the winds today are like 25, 30 knots, is that right, Peter? Yep. So it's going to be some fun sailing. So let's get ready to go. And the GPS below. Pretty windy, which is good because we're experiencing and practicing in good conditions. We don't want it too easy. So we're having a good sail today, as you can see with these winds. We've got great instruction from Peter, really enjoying it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna carry on going for a few more hours. Over and out. doing the fenders where we're coming to dock. So we've now finished our um, course, the program. So yeah, it's been awesome. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you 
to you. You too. It's been a pleasure. Thank yeah, you. No worries. So highly recommend to anyone looking to um, start boating, I guess, start sailing, get on the water. How do you think we did? You guys did fantastic. Well done. Yeah. yeah. And no uh, recommended for a pass for all of you. Oh, epic. There we go. Right. We can get out on the water. So well worth it. All right. Cheers. All right. It has been raining and pretty cold. So we're in a nice warm uh, coffee shop now, about 10 minutes from the harbour that we parked at. So we're going to wrap the vlog up here because we're basically just going to go back to surfers. So yeah, hope you enjoyed watching. Any questions about this whole experience, let us know below. We'll link the school. We will. Yes, yeah, Sunshine Sailing Australia. They'll be in the description if you want to book. Again, highly recommend. So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of our adventures. See you guys in the next vlog.